The Federal Shipbuilding and Dry Dock Company in Kearney, New Jersey, launched the destroyer Kearney on the 9th of March, 1940, with Miss Mary Kearney as her sponsor. Her commissioning followed on the 13th of September, 1940. Kearney began her service with shakedown and sea trials, setting sail from New York Harbor to St. Thomas, Virgin Islands, on the 19th of February, 1941. There, she joined the neutrality patrol near Fort de France, Martinique, in the French West Indies until the 9th of March. She continued her patrol duties near San Juan, Puerto Rico, and provided escort services in the Norfolk vicinity until August. Then, she proceeded to NS Argentia, Newfoundland, to take part in escorting convoys across the North Atlantic. On the 17th of October, 1941, amidst the Second World War's neutrality for the United States, Kearney was stationed in Reykjavik, Iceland, after the U.S. took control from the Allies in July, when German submarines launched an attack on a British convoy, overwhelming its Canadian escorts, Kearney, alongside three other U.S. destroyers, was called to aid. Upon arrival, she aggressively engaged the U-boats with depth charges throughout the night, an action later noted by Hitler as a cause for declaring war on the United States. During the battle, a torpedo from U-568 hit Kearney, causing 11 fatalities and 22 injuries. The crew managed to limit the flooding, allowing the ship to escape using power from the aft engine and fire room. Kearney then made her way to Iceland at a reduced speed, arriving on the 19th of October. After receiving temporary fixes, she left for Boston, Massachusetts on Christmas Day 1941, arriving six days later for comprehensive repairs. Kearney's resilience underscored the importance of segregated fire rooms and engine rooms in naval design. Have you ever wanted to expand your World War II knowledge? Well, we have an exclusive community of like-minded individuals to enjoy and discuss history with. Just click the first link in the description or in the pinned comment to join. Thanks, and now let's get back to the story. Between the 5th of April and the 28th of September 1942, Kearney was tasked with escorting convoys to Great Britain, the Panama Canal, and Galveston, Texas. In late September, she was reassigned to support the North African invasion, where she provided screening for the USS Texas and Savannah during fire support operations, downed an enemy aircraft, and escorted troop carriers to Safi, French Morocco. Following her duties in North Africa, Kearney escorted a convoy back to New York, reaching her destination on the 3rd of December, 1942. Throughout 1943, Kearney was primarily engaged in escorting vessels to destinations including Port of Spain, Trinidad, Recife, Brazil, and Casablanca. On the 25th of November 1943, she became part of a hunter-killer task force centered around the escort carrier Corps. On the 1st of January 1944, alongside aircraft from Corps, Kearney launched a successful depth charge attack on a submarine evidenced by a significant oil slick, and returned to New York by the 18th of January. In February, Kearney was assigned to the 8th Fleet in French Algeria. By the 10th of March, she supported the cruiser Brooklyn, providing fire support to the U.S. 5th Army in Italy, particularly in the Anzio Beachhead area. This operation earned the group the nickname Anzio Express receiving praise from 5th Army Commander General Mark W. Clark for their contributions. By early June, Kearney was dispatched to Anzio to deliver the final naval fire support before the Allied forces' significant advance and the capture of Rome. The destroyer continued with convoy duties until it participated in the southern France invasion on the 15th of August. As the inner fire support vessel for Red Beach in Cavalier Bay, Kearney provided counter-battery fire and pre-invasion bombardment, protected heavy fire support ships, and created smoke screens near Toulon. Starting the 19th of August 1944, she embarked on a two-month mission escorting troop ships between Naples and southern France. Subsequently, Kearney undertook several transatlantic trips between New York and Oran. On the 6th of August 1945, she passed through the Panama Canal heading for the Pacific, reaching Pearl Harbor towards the end of August after the cessation of hostilities. She was part of a convoy transporting occupation forces to Japan via Saipan, arriving at Wakayama, Japan on the 27th of September. Over the following month, Kearney voyaged between the Philippines and Okinawa, returning to Japan in October. She departed Wakayama on the 29th of October, 1945, 
returning to the United States via Pearl Harbor and San Diego, and passing through the Panama Canal to reach Charleston, South Carolina, on the 5th of December, 1945. Kearney was decommissioned on the 7th of March, 1946, and placed in reserve. Later moved to Orange, Texas, the ship was removed from the Naval Vessel Register on the 1st of June, 1971, sold on the 6th of October, 1972, and subsequently dismantled for scrap.